everyone. I'm Trent, and I'm the team lead on the game Sneak to Slims. I'm Jason. I'm an artist on Sneak to Slim. You are a legendary ninja master looking to steal a magical elixir. However, when you break into the temple where it's located, you find it's heavily guarded, and you're not the only one seeking the elixir. This is Sneak to Slim. We're developing a network multiplayer game. <coughs> We're up to four players battle each other in a fun new way. We're putting a wacky twist on uh, the stealth genre. So players are going to be stealing from each other and, uh, and hiding from each other as they battle for the elixir. However, they'll also have to watch out for AI guards that are patrolling the area. So in Sneak to Sling, we're developing a brand new combat system but there's no damage or death. Instead, when, uh, when a fight breaks out, guards will hear the sound, rush over, and kick out any players they see. So a player's going to have to be clever about how they deal with their opponents by bumping, trapping, and making sounds to get the other players captured. Uh, mindless brawling is only going to get you captured, so quick sneak attacks are going to be key to succeed. OK, the game will be in PC and Mac in you know, a third person perspective like this. Each player will break into the arena from a window and try to steal the treasures the elixir out. The elixir will respawn over time, so the player who collects the most at the end of the game will be the winner. There will be two basic moves that players can perform, belly bomb and tummy tuck, using left and right mouse button. Belly bomb is our core offensive move from previous slide, we have seen players bumping each other. The bumped player will be knocked over, drop an elixir, which is holding one, and take a while to stand back up. The tummy tuck is when you hold right mouse button, your character will suck in her belly and run really fast for a short amount of time. It is critical in chasing and escaping. This is our guards. They will patrol around the arena, investigate any noisy area, and kick out any player they catch inside. The captured player will be kicked out of the arena and take a few seconds to climb back up and break, and break in again. Now let's watch two prototypes video. The first one is from our old prototype demonstrates the combat system. So we start from the corner. That colored ball on the other player is the elixir. We steal it and try to bring it back to our base. The video is fast forward to the same time. So then uh, we start in another round to steal the elixir again. That ball coming out of our body is our belly. But you think it's <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so like we brawl with each other and everyone gets captured. And this is a video from our new prototype which demonstrates some new design concept. Another thing you'll notice is uh, we made some really simple changes to the map and that really uh, changed how people play. So that's something that's going to be really important is, is really good map design. So now we have a better view. We can see what other players and guards are doing and plan ahead strategically. We can also crouch to play stealthy against other players and we add these alcoves on the side of the map. And uh, in the real game, we will change these cylinders to vases that you can break to make sounds to alert the guards. So um, again, we are stealing the uh, sound and bringing back the base. Okay. Um, we have simple map in the prototype. In the real map, in the real game, the map will have more layers and pathways and corridors to ensure interesting encounters. Um, we, will all, we will also add cannons on, on the map to shoot you from one side to the other. And, um, uh, and we will scatter power-ups around the map to provide players with choices at any time of the gameplay. The power-ups are consumables like those in Mario Kart. They provide players with powerful skills like throwing firecrackers to manipulate the guards remotely, setting traps to snare players passing by, and sucking your belly to disguise as the same guard. <laughs> now let's talk about our development plan. 
Um, we will use UDK to produce again. So summer, we will set up tutorial for everyone to learn UDK. Right now, some of our team members have already have a network UDK prototype. Not prototype, yet, another game, but it's network UDK game from Professor Dida's network AI class. And um, for we will flash out most for gameplay. Um, the most important ones are network infrastructure and AI behaviors. Our artists will uh, complete the character uh, and the player character and guard's character. And uh, our designer will build a solid map for the full demo day. In spring, we will implement more uh, advanced features like crouching, power-ups, uh, breakable environments, and cannons. Um, designers will uh, build more maps and engineers will build an internet system where players can create and join games. So I'll talk about our team. Uh, we've already got uh, some great talent uh, for people here at USC. Uh, on the engineering team, our team lead is Chen. Uh, he's also our lead engineer. Uh, for networking, we have uh, Kay. Uh, David is our AI engineer. For gameplay engineers, we have Song and Andy. Uh, Jong is our graphic engineer. And on the design and production team, we have Pat, who's our lead designer. Melody, who's our designer. Uh, Ari is going to be our composer and sound designer from the Thornton School of Music. Kat is going to be our lead producer. On the art team, we have uh, Henry, who's an animation student from UCLA. He's our lead artist. And uh, he also made all the concept artists you saw in the presentation. Uh, Jane is our 3D artist. She's also going to be our rigger. Uh, Eric from the animation department is going to be doing uh, our 3D animation. And I'll be uh, designing the environments and also doing some producing. Uh, we also have mentors from great companies like Chris from Naughty Dog will mentor us on some engineering issues. Max from the animation department will give us advice from the art perspective. And Kerry from Symantec will come and play test for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is interesting. Thank you for watching. Um, right now we have 11 U.S. students. Um, we are expecting like around 20 to 25, but we can have more because there are a lot of things to do if you want, like in-game store, uh, multiple characters, and, yeah, a lot of things we can. Have. Cool. So uh, I I really like I like the way that the gameplay looks. I think it looks really interesting. Um, I really dislike your comical take on a VC. I think the, the most energy you got out of the audience was all from fat jokes. And, and I find that kind of offensive, and I think that if I find it kind of offensive, then judges for competitions that you might submit to might find it that way. So I, I think I keep the gameplay and just, just shift the, the sort of the premise behind it, the narrative premise, away from fat jokes to something that, you know, because it doesn't seem necessary. That's yeah. Um, yeah, we actually have thought about that, and we have a conservative plan. Um, in the conservative narrative, it will be the players want to pull up an ultimate heist, which requires them to go through a really sneak trick that they will need the skin portion to do that. Um, yeah. um, I had a question on your advanced features. So your um, production plan seems very simplified. And it, says, it seems like you guys are doing, hey, we're going to design this, and then second semester we're going to put in a bunch of new integral design changes that are considered advanced features like crouching. Um, do you guys have like a plan to address that? Because from my experience, having a longer design up front is what makes the game feel very polished and solid at the end, and you don't want to be adding these integral design changes near the end of the game's production line. Yeah, uh, right now our plan is to flesh out a solid level with the basic game features and the new features we will experiment with will be in advanced map layouts. So um, like we will try to balance each element and combine them to create different styles of game. Uh, how many maps are you guys making at the end? Um, probably three. Three maps, okay. Yeah, could you also talk about uh, your team and uh, who's been on big projects and your leadership experiences? 
Um, we haven't done previous final games before, but most of our team members have done have a lot of industry experience. Um, like. Um, I have been working in four companies. Kay have been working in a web company for two years, and um, and yeah, the art team. Um, and Henry, Eric, Jane, and Jason, they all have tons of experience from the industry. So, yeah, so I think we. Do you guys have any management experience or anything like that? Management experience? Oh, uh, like right now, I'm uh, in the in Professor Dada's network AI class. I'm managing a team to, uh, to do a uh, PBK network game.